You know I like late-release Sega Saturn games, so it's time to review a Japanese-exclusive Sega Saturn game for a change of pace. First of all, I don't know the first thing about Lupin the Third. I like anime, but the art style of the series never really appealed to me. I'm more into things like AD Police, Cyber City 80808, or Goku Midnight Eye. <laughs> That said, this game caught my eye as it's a later 3D action-adventure game on the Sega Saturn that never got a Western release, being released in August 1998 when the console was wheezing for breath. The story goes, Lupin, while attempting to elude Zenigata in a desert region, stumbles upon a pyramid and decides to seek refuge inside. He quickly discovers gemstones hidden deep within the structure, but there are more to these precious stones than meets the eye. I found out that Zenigata is a cop, so there's that mystery solved. In any case, the rest of the story, told completely in Japanese, takes place in the pyramid and involves Lupin going from floor to floor, trying to find gems and fight bad guys who look like either robots or ancient Egyptian guards. There's also a giant spider at one point, and while I was fighting it, I got sent tumbling through the stairs and then stuck in oblivion, requiring me to restart the level. Beyond that, you're essentially just running through mazes trying to find keys, open doors, trigger traps, or avoid electric floors that kill you instantly. You can either defend yourself by firing your handgun, fighting, or simply running away as fast as possible. Lupin is reasonably easy to control, and if something gets in the way of the view of your character, there's a nice transparency effect so you can see behind it, which is a neat touch. The core cool gameplay is not remarkably complicated or complex, but it was fun enough to keep me engaged while I was playing it. There was enough variety in the level design so that I never really got sick of what was happening. At one point, you'll be climbing the side of a mountain and another fighting robot-looking guards in a futuristic base with some nice fish tanks inside it. Yeah, nice. There are a few fundamental issues that the game has that are pretty pervasive, however. Lupin's jumping is slightly delayed, and so you'll often miss jumps because there's a very tiny, almost indiscernible gap between you pressing jump and him jumping. Additionally, you have to do running jumps from time to time, and his coked out run and jump combo is extremely hard to time on occasion. The other issue that crops up is that, although there are some fun gameplay contrivances, there isn't much more to loop in than running around doing key or switch hunts. Graphically, there isn't an enormous amount to complain about in Lupin, as nothing sticks out as particularly terrible. There's a nice transparency effect on the windows and scenery in the background, or if it threatens to obscure the foreground. The animation is fairly good and the textures are solid. The only thing that kneecaps a 3D engine is the laughable draw distance, which while being partially understandable, you, you are meant to be in a pyramid, it's a bit of a joke that with so many lights around, you can't even see the end of a small hallway because the engine probably couldn't take it. I'd also like to mention the anime cutscenes are of a high enough quality to be able to watch without complaints. Beyond that, there's not much else to loop in. There's some nice front-end contrivances like the cool 3D maps of the level, nice load screen art, and the game also doesn't overstay its welcome. It's not a masterpiece, but I'd still say this is a neat little curiosity as a late Saturn game with a decent 3D engine and a reasonably fun game structure to hold your attention for a couple of hours. <laughs>